Hey guys, what's going on? I know this is a little bit overdue, but I am going to be going over the new units that are out on the JP side. Now, I already did my summoning video on the banner, so if you want to check it out a couple days ago, I did a whole bunch of summonings for this banner. Now, I really love this banner. I love everyone I pulled on this banner. I love everything about what is currently on the Dokkan Battle JP side right now. Um, I really need to start playing the JP side again because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of grinding out to do. Um, now, I want to say I'm going to be splitting this up into two separate videos in terms of the new units because there's just so many of them. Probably, actually, it's going to be four separate videos technically because um, I'm going to be doing the overview of the banners or of the units on the banners separately. And then I have to do a team building guide on each of them. Um, and they're not available on DokkanBattleBuilder.com, which is why I am doing this video right now. Uh, but we're going to talk about their dokenings, how to doken some of these guys, and where we're going from there. Uh, the other video, which uh, the, I'm currently going to keep off this list, the Android 17 and 18's Doken Awakenings, and Rebrand. And the two, I guess they're free-to-play units, I'm going to have to look into that, of the other F17 and 18. So this video specifically is going to be for Dispo, uh, Topo, Jiren, and the new Vegeta Blue Evolution. Oh my god, Vegeta Blue Evolution. Anyway... So let's go ahead and talk about it. We're starting off with Warrior Super Speed Dispo. Um, he is an agility type. His leader skill is agility type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So that's pretty cool. I wish they gave him a special mechanic. They did not. Super attack is justice kick. Supreme damage the enemy raises attack for three turns. Not bad. That's pretty cool. Passive skill is self-confidence and speed. Uh, at the start of each turn, attack plus 15%. And a chance of evading enemies attack plus 10% up to 40 this is unconditional. This freaking dude can continue to raise his attack as an event goes on. Now, there are, for those of you who are, I guess if you're brand new, I would say this. If you're doing a full damage reduction team, having Dispo on a full damage reduction team is going to be insane. I mean, think about it. 10 times, 150%. 10 rounds you know what i'm saying if you're running a full like honestly what was that the two android 13s which is attack minus uh 86 percent if you were running a double lead with dispo yeah he's not getting any buffs but that those events are going to take forever i wonder how much damage this dude can do with attack plus 15 percent at the start of every turn non-stop i mean that's just his undocon form too i'm sorry i'm just i know i'm rambling a little bit but that's just insane what i'm thinking of right there um, he does have a chance to evade, which is cool. I really wish they gave him an ability where it was like, um, has a high chance of, um, like, I guess, attacking before an enemy attacks. If an enemy is supposed to attack before, like if he's in the first slot, he has a high chance of, or he will attack before their first one. So no matter who's in the first slot, he will always get the hit first. That can come useful in certain situations. It's very, very particular, but I feel like they should have done it for him because he is super speed. Um, link skills are Signature Pose, Hero of Justice, Speedy Retribution, which is a horrible link skill, need to update that. Shocking Speed, of course, in Fighter and Tournament of Power. He's part of the Category Universe Survival Saga, and oh my god, I can't wait to build this freaking team. Um, max stats are HP of 89.24, Attack of 79.91, and Defense of 43.98. Um, and he has max base dupe system of HP of 10,924, Attack of 9,991, and Defense of 63.98. Overall, really good unit. I would probably end up feeding in some dupe system into him just because attack plus 50% on conditional is ridiculous. Um, he will Doken Waken with 35 of these Jiren medals, by the way. Um, the Jiren medals are going to be available from the Jiren event to Doken Waken. This Jiren event so oh, oh, so freaking epic. Um, he will drop a free-to-play Jiren card, which, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're we are all aware of it, but we'll talk about him in a minute, too. I'll throw him over here with my Jiren so that way we talk about it. Um, you're going to go up against this event. It's a pain in the butt event. I've done it. Oh my gosh, this is such a pain in the butt event. Um, this stage, like th these stages here, oh my gosh. I don't, I, I had trouble with my <clears throat> 120 um, Vegeta team. That's because this this Jiren did a number on me. But um, I, I, bringing that team was ridiculously difficult because of that freaking technique Jiren. Um, let's see. So what we're talking about this right now. Uh, testing shows attack boost can stack indefinitely. Um, it's only chance of evading enemy caps at 40%. Raises attack for three, three turns is a 50% boost, which is eh. Uh, it's actually it's decent because it's good, but you know it's not like as fantastic as it could be. If you the thing is though how how epic his attacks are going to be, if you factor in his attack raise for three turns and you give him full additionals and he gets a whole bunch of supers, additional supers that would be ridiculous. Uh, he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. 
Uh, when you finally Doken Awaken him, he becomes Brisk Assault Dispo, super high speed mode. Now, um, let's see. So you have Dispo and then super, uh, Dispo, super high speed mode. Now, the good thing about this is you can, if you don't want to, you could literally link these two together onto one team. It would be really, I, I don't know how beneficial it would be. Because they literally, like, they're, they're each other's best linking buddies. They literally have everything except for Fierce Battle. Um, so they have Signature Pose. They have Hero of Justice, Infighter, Speedy Retribution, which is meh. Um, yeah, Infighter. Uh, no, actually, he doesn't have in Oh, yeah, he does have Infighter. Yeah, yeah, I already said that. Anyway, really good. He, he links essentially everything with himself except for Fierce Battle. And, I don't know, 10%, 2 key, 25% for Hero of Justice, Signature Pose for 2 key, Fierce Battle, and Tournament of Power. I mean, honestly, there is so much here, and it would benefit him so much. But then again, we also, I'm not taking into consideration all the other link skills he's going to share with, like, Topo and Jiren. So we'll have to wait and look at that. Anyway, his new leader ability is agility type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Um, his super attack, super high speed, justice kick, supreme damage to the enemy, raises attack for 6 turns. Holy crap. Um, passive skill, faster than the sound and light, faster than sound and light. At the start of each turn, attack plus 20%. Unconditionally. An attack of uh, chance of evading enemies attack plus 15% up to 60%. So on that conditional scenario that I was telling you guys about, 10 turns go by, attack plus 200%. Now, I mean, just think back to that, um, the free, the, the Beerus that we have, the, the strength Beerus, attack plus 200%, how much damage he does. It's insane. You feed some dupe system into this freaking dude, and you give him additionals, he gets additional supers. I mean, plus attack plus six turns. This guy's going to be doing so much freaking damage. I mean, this would be like a, nu a, a nuker in itself for his own type of nuking. It would be ridiculous. Oh my god, I would love to see it. I can't wait. Anyway, uh, he's still part of the Universe Survival Saga category. Max stats are HP of 9227, attack of 8158, uh, and defense of 4537. Max stoop system of HP of 11227, attack of 10158, and defense of 6537. Um, raises attack for 60, six turns is a 50% boost, and his new 12 key multiplier is 140%. Overall, really, really awesome. I love this freaking unit. He is so cool. I love this, but I think this, this bow is really awesome. Unfortunately, you can't increase his super attack by normal means, so if you're trying to get him up to super attack 10, you're definitely going to have to do some Elder Kai's in him. I'm probably going to do that. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is the Topo. Now, we already talked about Topo on an earlier video. Uh, I guess we'll just cover some basics like his uh, his leader ability and his passive skill. So his leader skill is uh, super types, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30. Um, and his super attack, supreme damage, raises super class allies attack by 25% for one turn. And passive is super class allies attack and defense plus 30, extreme class enemies defense minus 50%. Um, he Doken Awakens with 35 of the Vegeta Blue Evolution Medals. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this guy, so freaking cool looking, I just love it. Uh, power beyond justice and evil Topo, god of destruction. Um, leader skill is all types, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. So he's a really nice leader, guys. Really good for you who are just starting out. If you all, so let me like this, if you're just starting out, you're not going to be able to beat the event to Doken Awaken him. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just being real, just being real. You're not going to be able to take on the event. But if you ever are able to do it, if you want to use your Dragon Stones, which I don't recommend doing, he is such a freaking awesome leader for you to take on other events. Um, his super attack, Destruction Ball, Supreme Damage, and raises allies attack by 25% for one turn. So it's no longer good or evil, it's just everyone. Passive skill, Strength of Confidence, attack and defense plus 35% for all allies. All enemies defense minus 50%. So cool, I love it. Link skills are Tournament of Power, Supreme Warrior, Rival Duo, Tough as Nails, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. His categories are Universe Survival Saga, and he's part of Realm of Gods, guys. He's part of the Realm of Gods category now when he gets his Doken Awakening. I can't wait to see what to do with him. Well, I mean, okay, so he is a support unit, okay? So, I mean, he's always been a support unit, but he is the support unit for Universe Survival Saga and Realm of Gods. He's awesome. I mean, you could just throw him on for, for even for a strength team. If you think about that, he's really good for a, for a mono strength team also. So you, you have nothing to worry about there. He's such a cool unit. Um, anyway, max stats are HP of 7736, attack of 7748, uh, and defense of 5795. Uh, I wouldn't feed any dupe system into him myself because he is a, um, a support unit. And I don't mean to fanboy out over a support unit. Topo is definitely not one of my favorite characters, but I just love the artwork. I think the artwork is phenomenal, and I think who he, who he was painted in the series is a phenomenal character. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm loving it a little bit. 
He has a 12 key multiplier of 145%. So overall, he's going to be really good for support unit. You're not going to have, you're probably not going to have him on primary rotation. You definitely can because he does share a lot of really, really good link skills. But when the Dokkan versions of them come out on Dokkan Battle Builder, I will definitely talk about that. Um, now we're going to go on to the Jiren. Uh, because we want to talk about the free-to-play one real quick, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the actual Absolute Strength Jiren, the Dokkan version. So this is the one that's going to be available from the Jiren event, the Dokkan event. He is going to be available... Where are you? Come on over. There you go. He's going to be available from Stage 1 Jiren the Grey. You can go ahead and grind him out there. Um, if you want to get him a Super Tech 10, I would definitely recommend doing it, because he's a free-to-play tech unit. Free-to-play tech units are just ridiculous. Um, at least the teams are. Leader skill is Universe Survival Saga category, HP attack and defense plus 60%, so that's kind of whack. Um, he does do supreme damage, lowers defense of the enemy. Um, passive skill, intense pressure, reduces damage received by 50% when key is 10 or more. So on a mono tech team, that is definitely possible. Link skills are Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, Hero Justice, Tournament of Power. Definitely going to be difficult. It may be Shocking Speed on a free-to-play team, but that's about it. You're not going to have that many free-to-play units on a, on a like on a Prime Battle team. Uh, that, that's the LR Frieza or the LR Goku events where you're going to be able to utilize his Link skills. Uh, categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods. I'm not going to go over his stats. Um, 12 key multiplier of 130%, 35%. Now, he feeds into the um, SSR Jiren. I would definitely recommend doing that for a 50% chance. Uh, since he is coming in as an SSR. Uh, this is the Undokan version of the Jiren, the Invincible Myth of Universe 11. His leader ability is Universe Survival Saga Category, Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, or Strength Type, Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 40. He did immense damage, and his passive skill was Attack and Defense plus 120%, medium chance to stun all enemies. So, um, pretty cool um, abilities and everything. He had a 12 key multiplier of 150%, and he Dokken Awakens with 77 of the medals from his event. Now, his Dokken Awakening, this bad boy, oh my god, absolute strength Jiren. His leader ability is Universe Survival Saga Category, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. So, such an awesome leader. He is so freaking great. Um, or Strength Type, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Um, now, if you haven't noticed, a lot of these units are actually Strength. Um, so that's going to be really fun to play with, uh, because you could definitely make a mono strength hero team and bring that on Super Battle Road. I saw some people putting out videos uh, or, or uh, screen caps with Jiren Doken Awakened um, with his team full strength, just destroying Super Battle Road. So uh, I can't wait to try that out. Um, his He does immense damage, greatly lowers defense of the enemy. Passive skill, key pressure, attack and defense plus 130%. He only got a 10% attack buff, but like that's just ridiculous. Medium chance to stun all enemies, which is definitely very useful. Guaranteed critical hit against a stunned enemy. So if he stuns an enemy, he's getting a crit. That is so awesome. That is such a cool and unique mechanic. I really wish they did something like that for Dispo. Um, link skills are called Judgment, Shocking Speed, Infighter, Hero, Justice, Tournament of Power, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. This category, Realm of Gods and Universe Survival Saga. Again, cannot wait, can cannot wait to do a team building guide on him. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 9590, attack of 10,780, and defense of 6606. Max dupe system, max base dupe system is HP of 11,590, attack of 12,780, and defense of 8,606. And oh my gosh, look at these freaking max dupe system stats if you get all four. For those of you who got all four unlocked, oh my gosh. He he gets 61, or 6, yeah, sorry, 6,000, um... Well, actually, no, it's like 5,500 or something like that attack buff. But his attack buff is ridiculous. He goes up to 16,000 attack. HP is 14,005, and defense is over 11,000. It's insane. He still has the 150% 12 key multiplier, but for a unit that you can get to Super Attack 10 for free, Dokken Awaken him. He is such a monster. He is a monster. I love this guy. I really cannot wait. I actually want to put some work into him. Um, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, so I'm definitely going to bed most likely after this video because I'm exhausted. But uh, we haven't even touched the cream of the crop yet. My number one card that I... Oh my gosh, I really wish I pulled him. I didn't, and I'm not going to. At least for a while, as he's available on a future banner. Pursuit of Strength. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. We're just going to call him Super Saiyan Blue Evolved for moving forward because that's too much to say. Uh, his leader ability. Pure Saiyan category. How... Oh my gosh, so epic, so awesome. We're going to talk about that too. Key plus 2 HP attack and defense, or sorry, HP and defense plus 140%, attack plus 
Oh, man, I really wish they did, like, um, HP and attack or something like that, or defense and attack. Uh, it's all right. It's not horrible. They're still super OP, but I really wish the attack buff got that 170% um, on the Dokkan variant. Uh, he does immense damage, greatly lowers defense with Gamma Burst Flash for his super attack. So cool, Gamma Burst Flash. Passive skill, winning the, in one's own way. Attack plus 100% and defense plus 50% at the start of the turn. Launches two additional attacks and defense plus 6% with each attack performed up to 60%. So he'll be doing 110% defense um, after launching, what, that's 10 attacks he has to launch and he's going to have a ridiculous defense. And I mean, he's an agility card, so he's going to have the built-in additional. So you could technically get one, two, three, four attacks in at once. So in three turns, you could have him all the way maxed out. I mean, three turns, you're going to have at least nine. So you just need one additional to go off. So that's just so cool. He is really good unit. I love this unit. I really wish I pulled him. Vegeta, if you, had, if you don't know, is one of my favorite characters in the series. Link skills are prodigies, super saiyan, royal lineage, prepare for battle, torment of power, and warrior gods. Categories are Universe Survival Saga, oh yeah, Realm of Gods and Pure Saiyans. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 9761, attack of 8603, and defense of 4928. Higher defensive stat, which is awesome, it's a Vegeta card, he has to. <laughs> uh, max base dupe system is HP of 11761, attack of 10603, and defense of 6928. Max dupe system fully rainbowed. HP of 14361, attack of 13603, and defense of 10,328. He has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. The additional attacks from Vegeta's passive can't be super attacks. However, they can be critical hits from hidden potential upgrades. Interesting. They also help increase his defense. If he gets an additional attack from the hidden potential, it can be a super attack. Interesting. Did not know that he cannot do supers on those additionals. That's actually kind of whack. Uh, anyway, he will Doken Awaken into his new very awesome form, Accepted Pride. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Evolved. Leader ability Pure Saiyan's category key plus 3 HP attack, and, or sorry, HP and defense 170, attack 130%. Immense damage to the enemy greatly lowers defense. Um, his passive skill Stimulated Pride, attack plus 120%, and defense plus 60%, which is, oh god, so cool. Launches two additional attacks, and defense plus 7% when each attack is up to 70%. When conditions are met, he evolves. Oh god, I can't talk wait, you talk about that. Link skills are Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Warrior Gods, Prepare for Battle, Torment Power, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, and Pure Saiyans. Max stats are HP of 12,320, Attack of 10,000, and Defense of 6,100. We're going to go quickly through this part. Uh, it, max base dupe system is HP of 14,300, Attack of 12,000, and Defense of 8,100. And max full dupe system is HP of almost 17,000, Attack of 15,000 and defense of 11,000. Now, evolution, starting from turn four, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta has a 30% chance to become Super Saiyan Blue Evolve. And I'm pretty sure he just stays there. Uh, the additional attacks from Vegeta's passive can't be supers. However, they can be critical hits from uh, hidden potential upgrades. They can also, yeah, but well, we already talked about that. Now his power up, his power up, he goes from attack plus 120% and defense plus 60%, to attack and defense plus 130% when he evolves. He launches two additional attacks and a chance to perform a critical hit plus 10%. Critical hit with each attack performed up to 70%. Wait a second, wait a second. So defense up. So does he retain his defense? Let me know in the comments below if you are aware of this. I'm pretty sure that means by the time he gets his defense up, that's when he transforms, and I'm pretty sure you're going to retain that defensive buff. So once he fully gets all of his defensive buff buffs up, he's going to transform, and then he gets up to 70% chance to crit. What? This guy is so awesome. League skills are Prodigies, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Warrior Gods, Prepared for Battle, Torment of Power, and Fierce Battle. Same categories, same dupe system. Um, so that's awesome. 30% chance to evolve starting from fourth turn. Um, 12 key is 150%. So that's really awesome. He is such an epic unit. I can't wait. I, I don't have him, but if I ever get the ability to run him with a friend and I'll make a full pure uh, Saiyan team, that's going to be awesome. Let's go talk about the pure Saiyan category. I'm sorry to keep you here for over 20 minutes. I try not to do that. Um, pure Saiyan category is the Vegeta leader. 
You have the LR Majin Vegeta, you have the LR Goku, you have the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you have the LR Base Form Goku, and you have the LR Broly. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the the, the Spirit Bomb Gokus, the, the well, Super Saiyan Goku and Spirit Bomb Goku, maybe not the most epic, but they are really, still really good units, and that LR Goku, if you've been playing for a while, should be 100%, so it's definitely not bad. Like, literally, one, two, three, four, five, you have a full team. That's your team. A full LR team led by Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. How awesome is that? That's just that's just phenomenal. I love it. Um, if you want to do agility, you have... Look at this. Look at this for an, a TUR agility team. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now, this is not me, like, doing, like... This is me just doing, like, a, an off-topic team build and just talking about who you have. You have the Vegeta. You have the Dokkan variant of Super Saiyan Blue. You can bring Khalifla. You can bring Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The, either one of these two Gokus, which you already know are freaking awesome. Um, I Let me see over here really quick. This is what, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, right? Yeah. Um, you can't bring the, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, so that sucks. The ECA Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, what else? That's really it. I guess the, the Bardock is actually can be really decent as well, because he's attack plus 100%. Um, oh no, he's a, he's, this is the support unit. So, I mean, the JP guys, you have him as a support unit, so you have attack plus 30% there. Um, and you have some other good units that you can bring. Like, you can literally bring this on a here, like, uh, on Super Battle Road with that Vegeta, and you guys will be fine. Like, I can't, I can't believe it. Super Battle Road will be a joke with this team also. So, like, you got Jiren for Super Battle Road for him, and then you have Vegeta, like, Vegeta for Super Battle Road for, for that, for that event, for the, um, Super Agility event. Like, it's so awesome. I mean, you, you also have just so, uh, so many other units. I mean, all the 120 Dokkan Fests are pretty, a lot of them are Super Saiyans, you know, or, or, purebreds i mean you have the super saiyan 3 bardock um for this one for the uh, agility for the technique one you have the broly for the 120 liter and the goku for the 120 liter so you have both of them you have the lrs here uh for like the lr broly and whatnot super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan 3 goku i mean you like you at super saiyan 3 broly or super broly or well, actually super saiyan broly over here actually i think the, the the physical one is the only one that you don't have a 120 liter on yeah, because you have at least one 120 liter on all of these suckers. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on. My mouth is getting dry. I'm getting tired. Um, I just want to talk about this. This is so epic. I am definitely going to be doing the Androids and Rebrand in another video. I'm probably going to do that recording tomorrow night. I do have to go go to bed and get ready for the weekend. But um, or my weekend was work week. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you stopping by, hanging out. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Again, I, I didn't get to pull the Vegeta, but if you want to go see my, my pulls, if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and do it. I got some really good fire pulls minus the Vegeta. Um, anyway, guys, thanks again. I'll talk to you in the comments below. Peace.